Max Park, one of the fastest Rubik's Cube solvers in the world, holds a personal best single solve of 3.13 seconds. But what if he took his speed cubing to the next level? What if Max Park learned every single advanced algorithm that exists and used them to push his times even lower? Could he break the unthinkable barrier of 3 seconds? Let's break down how fast Max could really go if he mastered every method. Right now, Max is known for using CFOP, one issue. of the most common speed solving methods. But what if he added the ultimate arsenal? With methods like full 1LLL and CBLL, he'd need to memorize over 4,400 algorithms. That's right, 4,400 algorithms, each taking around one hour to learn. To put that into perspective, Mastering these algorithms would take thousands of hours. At just four hours per day, that's a commitment of over two to three years straight. Let's think about the time investment. If Max spent one hour per algorithm, he'd need over 4,409 hours of practice just to learn all these algorithms. That's about 1,100 days or three years of daily practice if he's working at four hours a day. If he spends six hours a day, the number drops to just under two years. Even then, he would only have about an hour or two of practice for each one. That's a massive dedication, but how fast would Max be after this long journey? He currently solves the cube in an average of 1.13 seconds, but what with about 10.8 turns per second. With his turning speed, he's one of the best in the world, but what if he upped his game even further? If Max could hit 12 TPS, the fastest human speeds currently achievable, his solve time would drop even lower. With full 1 LLL that uses just 39.5 moves on average, his time could theoretically fall to about 3 seconds per solve. In the rarest cases, a God's number scramble, which takes only 17 to 18 moves, could push Max's solve time even lower. At his peak speed, we're talking about a 1.5 second solve. Holy moly. That's right, 1.5 seconds. But it's theoretical. These types of scrambles only show up about 2.6% of the time. So even if Max mastered everything, these ultra fast solves wouldn't be common. So after all that work, over 4,400 hours of practice, how much time would Max actually save? From his current 3.13 seconds, he could theoretically drop his average time by about 0.23 seconds. That might not sound like much, but even at 2.23 seconds per solve, Imagine how much that would add up in competitions. Over five solves, he could save about 1.15 seconds. But here's the kicker. To make up for the 4,409 hours of practice time, Max would need to complete about 69 million solves. Yep, you heard that right, 69 million. That's about 23,000 hours of solving, which would take nearly three years at 100 solves per day. So what does this mean for Max Park? Even if he dedicated two to three years of his life just to learning these advanced methods, the gains would be tiny, around a 0.23 second improvement per solve. In the world of competitive cubing, even the smallest improvements can make the difference between a world record and just a really fast solve. But is it worth it? Maybe. But not everyone can commit years of practice just for fractions of a second. So. Could Max Park break the three second barrier? If he mastered every algorithm, it's definitely possible, but it would come at a huge cost of time and effort. But then again, that's what it takes to be at the top. Max Park has already proven he's among the best, and with a little more time, he might just push the boundaries of what's possible in speed cubing.